competitions surrounding the sport inherent in the art. And again, we will sit tight and await. And we now have the issues resolved. Tamar Mamadov, heavyweight, 18 years old, from Azerbaijan. And now it's really starting to pick up the energy. You can feel it, it's sweltering in here. And we see the entrance of Joseph Darmos, 26, from Hungary. Making his way to the blue corner. The referee from India, Jay Cowley. Strictly business, the judges, Carrillo, Alvarado, Caulfield, Braham, and Bagda Novices. And let's take a quick look at the resume of Tamor Mamadou. He was the first place winner at the 2009 Haydar Aliyev Junior Cup right here in Azerbaijan. He took first place in 2010 at the Senior National Championships and the Youth National Championships. At 2010, he was Aiba Youth World Champion at the championships, excuse me, he took seventh place. And in 2011, just earlier this year at the European Championships in Ankara, Turkey, he took the gold medal. He boxes with Club Rabitachi right here in Azerbaijan. And Joseph Darmos, 2007 in Chicago at the World Senior Championships, he took seventh place. Then again, in 2009, he took the Hungarian National Championships gold. He also in 2009 was at the Aiba World Championships in Milan, where he lost to Ramazan Amadov of Uzbekistan. And last year, he took first at the Hungarian National Championships. His coaches, Imre Bakskai and Dr. Laszlo Kovacs, and his club in Hungary is Vasas Sulos. With that said, let's get ready to box the first of four heavyweight attractions. Mamadouf, Azerbaijan, red corner. Darmos, Hungary, blue corner. Mamadouf, the taller boxer, the younger boxer, eight years younger to be precise, 18 to Darmos is 26 years old. Darmos plunging ahead, looks like a heavy hitter, this Darmos does. A little shorter, much more compact. He starts to press the action and Mamadov back against the ropes, keeping a tight guard as Darmos starts to follow him around the ring. The Azerbaijani crowd really getting behind their man Mamadov. And now Mamadov with his back into the corner at the turnbuckle. Not a place he wants to be with a banger like Darmos. And now Mamadov keeps his man off of him. Darmos, unrelenting, continues to plod forward. Darmos standing there right in the center of the ring. A little off balance there, Mamadov. Somewhat flat-footed, be well served to get on his toes and start boxing like the taller man that he is. There's no reason he can't take advantage of those long arms. He's boxing in the southpaw style. He should be using that jab like a piston, just like the elder Klitschko brothers do. Throwing it out there. One, two, three, even four times if he has to. Keep it in the face of Darmos, followed up with a big, big left hand. On the other hand, Darmos, slowly walking his man down, would be well served to get inside the long arms of Mamadov, 
and start ripping shots to the body like you see there. So you have a stylistic matchup. The taller, rangier boxer, the more stout, compact, likely heavier puncher in Darmos. There's a minute left in round number one. Darmos throws a chopping right hand, and there's a left hand by Darmos, and Mamadov, content to stay on the outside, should be boxing, seems to be thinking more about how he wants to approach this. The first round is a crucial one. There's only three rounds in these bouts. It's the chance to take advantage to get a head up, a lead in the, in the, in the scoring, one which you could use to your advantage keenly throughout the remainder of the bout. But be that as it may, Mamadov seems content to ride this first wave and see where it takes him. And now the referee is going to issue a caution. And here comes Mamadov, starting to put some punches together here with 20 seconds left. He throws a nice quick right left and another right left by Mamadov. And now Mamadov starting to show some signs of life as Darmos eating another right-handed jab. The long piston-like jab by Mamadov is starting to take shape. This is what we came to see. This is what we know he's got. Will he show it to us some more? And more importantly, will he show it to Joseph Darmos? And you hear it from the crowd as Azerbaijan takes a 7-3 lead after round number one. Let's look at some action from round one. You see Darmos eating a left hand right there by Mamadov. And Mamadov, there it is again, doing a keen job of throwing that jab, but then leaning back without losing his footing, without getting out of that pocket, he leans back and avoids the shorter armed punches of Joseph Darmos. It's a great way to stay in the action, to stay in the pocket. He doesn't need to retreat if he feels comfortable enough with his upper body movement and evasive and defensive skills. Jay Kowali getting ready to start the action up here for round number two. And the Azerbaijani crowd really getting behind their man, Mamadov. Mamadov throwing a right and a left. And here comes Darmos. A left hook by Darmos. Doesn't quite find its home, but now Darmos goes downstairs to the liver, and he may find some more success with that. Why would that be? Because Mamadov, being the taller boxer and keeping his hands up high, is keeping much of that lower region exposed. He's fighting a typical Eastern European stance with a stand-up style instead of getting into a crouch. And as a result, he's leaving much of his right rib cage exposed for a big left hand by Joseph Darmos. Joseph Darmos saw a home for it. There you saw it again, a right to the body followed by a left. Will Darmos start to capitalize on that perceived weakness of Mamadov? A minute to go, or rather a minute down, in round number two. A left to the body by Mamadov. Mamadov doesn't want to stand there and slug it out, I don't think, with Darmos. He'd be better served going back on that jab of his, ride that stick into the sunset if he needs to, and wait for the opportunity to follow up with a big left hand, as he did in the first round. Right left by Mamadov, and Darmos not really letting his hands go other than an occasional baby left hook to the rib cage of Mamadov. He seems somewhat content with letting Mamadov set, set the pace of this action, which isn't going to do him any well, particularly since he's down on points coming into this round, and he's going to just go down by more points if he keeps that same approach. He needs to get more physical. He needs to bully Mamadov around the ring. There you see the look on his face. It was almost as if he said to Mamadov, that's right, I'm coming to get you. Well, let's see it, Darmos. Use your weight, use your strength, push him around, punch him to the body, get him up against the ropes, try and corner him, and do your work, because right now Mamadov is setting the pace. And even though he's not filing this, fighting the type of fight we'd like to see out of a taller man, it seems to be effective. He's standing there for the most part toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darmos. He's not taking full advantage of his jab, but he seems to be racking up points nonetheless. Now Mamadov 
Looks like he's willing to show his weight, or rather his strength, and push his weight around on Darmos. Unexpected strategy, but perhaps whatever works here. He may feel the energy, the confidence from his home crowd. He may not want to stand back and box. Perhaps Mamadov wants to slug it out toe to toe. Perhaps, just maybe, Tamar Mamadov is looking for a knockout in front of his home crowd. Referee Jake Yoda going to give a caution to Darmos. And now Mamadov, with just a few seconds left, is going to stand there toe to toe with Darmos. And let's see what happens. That's the end of round two. And the Azerbaijani crowd really hearing it. Rather, giving it. We're hearing it. They're giving it to their man, Timur Mamadov. Just 18 years old. Look at the work. Look at the work effort by Timur Mamadov as he continues to throw his hands to the head of Joseph Darmos. Right to the head, a left to the head. Clearly not lacking for confidence, not lacking for heart. And there's another impressive 7-2 score for Tamar Mamadou. Brings a total of 14 to five. He's got a nine point lead going into this third round. At this point, all Mamadou needs to do to become a young Olympian for the Azerbaijani flag is to avoid harm's way. The crowd knows it. He should know it too. Let's see if he continues to try and stand toe to toe with this big man and look for a knockout. He will really win them over. And you and I for that matter. And Mamadov starting to press the action. Not looking to run away and, 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 and stay secure with his victory. He's looking to rub shoulders, rub faces with this man, Joseph Darmos. And there's a nice right hand by Mamadov. My God, I think he is looking for the knockout. A right hand by Mamadov, a left to the chin. And Mamadov putting up an impressive showing here. Here comes Darmos now. Although he's been more of a punching bag than anything else for Mamadov, he's showing some signs of life. He's getting some punches in there, but they're just like flies on an elephant at this point. The impact is close to none as Mamadov has all the energy and the, the glory of his countrymen on his back right now. A right and a left by Mamadov. Mamadov sticks out that jab. Now we see it again. We haven't seen it since the first round. That long jab. He should take it to the promised land. It will get him there if he uses it, if he's faithful to it, if he's honest with it. There's nothing better than an educated jab in this sport of boxing. Nice right-left-right right combination by Mamadov. And here he goes with a right to the body. And now... Darmos continuing to chase him around the ring like a stuck pig to a matador. Make that a stuck bull. Just the same. Now the referee is going to take a pause in the action and boxing will continue. A lunging right hand by Darmos. Mamadov throwing a stiff jab out there. A right hand. And as we see the referee going to send Darmos to the corner, he's got banged up pretty bad. He's got a bloody nose and a bloody mouth. But he's going to be allowed to continue. There's 49 seconds left. There's a lot riding at it. And you always stand the puncher's chance when you got the size of a guy like Darmos in there. But not everyone has a puncher's chance. You got to be a puncher. You can't just look like one. And Darmos hasn't quite shown that he can pack the wallop that he looks like he can. He's yet to really land a solid punch on Mamadov. And as a result, Mamadov's confidence has steadily increased. And he's put up three rounds of boxing that you, you and you would be proud of here at the Haydor Aliyev Complex.
Just 10 seconds left, and Mamadov has written himself a ticket to London. And as the final seconds wane down, you hear it in the crowd. The Azerbaijani people love that they have a new Olympian in their presence. And he wears their flag, and he wears their, their colors, and his name is Tamor Mamadou, just 18 years old, perhaps a child in this sport, but he fights like a man. And look at the Azerbaijanis. They are loving it. They are soaking it up. They've done a wonderful job, has the Azerbaijani Boxing Federation, along with Aiba, to host this spectacular event here. We expect this place to be at a capacity crowd later on in this tournament as we get closer to the final rounds. For now, the energy is palpable. And the winner, he is Tamor Mamadov, 24 to nine. He didn't just win, he won convincingly. And that's it as both boxers congratulate one another. We move on to the next heavyweight bout in just a moment.